my boys and girls. Welcome to our snow day. Today, I thought we would do something a little bit different. I'm gonna show you how to use some special tools that we're not gonna normally go over in class, namely the translate and the text to speech. Now to get to those tools, first we need to do, thing we need to do is go into Scratch and start a new project like I have here. And then down here on the lower left hand side, you'll see this weird kind of looking symbol that says add extension. We're gonna click that. And then there are two extension blocks we're gonna add. The first one is text to speech. So then we're gonna do it again and add in translate. So now we have two sets of blocks, text to speech and translate. I'm gonna start with text to speech just to show you how this part works. I'm gonna to go to when green flag clicked. There we go. And hopefully I have this set up to talk. Hit green flag and it says hello. 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 So now the computer will say hello to me using its own computer voice. And it'll say whatever I type. Hello Innovation class. So that's a lot of fun. One of the other things we can do is change the voice's sound. So we can do alto, alto tenor, squeak, giant, or kitten. I'm gonna do a kitten. Meow, meow, meow. Oh, it just says meow, meow, meow. Meow, meow, meow. That's kind of funny. Here's a giant. Hello Innovation class. Here is a squeaker. Hello Innovation class. Tenor. Hello Innovation class. And alto. Hello Innovation class. We can also set the language to a different language. Now, this is not gonna change the words that the person says. It's just gonna change the accent. So this is an English accent. We could do a French accent. Hello Innovation class. Oh, it actually did change the language. That's a new one. Hello Innovation class. So if we change, well, it doesn't actually change the words though. Hello Innovation class. It just changes the accent. Hello Innovation class. Some of them are harder to understand than others. Hello Innovation class. But they're all saying the same words. Hello, Innovation Class. Suppose, though, we wanted it to say that phrase, Hello, Innovation Class, in a different language altogether. Well, that's where the translate blocks come in. There's a block down here that says translate. I'm going to say, Hello, innovation class and since I have Spanish up there as the voice I'm going to change the language to Spanish and I'm going to put this right inside of the speak Hola, clase de innovación. aha and now whatever I type Esto es en español. The computer will say in Spanish. Esta es mi forma de comunicación. Now, suppose I wanted to get the computer to be able to speak in Spanish, but then maybe I also wanted to say from Spanish to English. So I'm gonna look up a Spanish phrase. So I'm gonna use my Google Translator. Google Translate, and let's say I'm gonna go Spanish. And I'm gonna say, 
Uh, actually, I want to go the other way. English to Spanish, so I know what the text is. Hello, how are you today? So there it is. I'm going to copy this. You can just hit this little button down here. It says copy. And I'm going to go into Scratch. And I'm going to paste this into my translate. And I'm going to speak this in English. So I'm going to switch this. Instead of being Spanish, I'm going to switch it to English. And I'll switch this to a American accent or an English accent. Hi, how are you today? Aha, uh -huh, see, it translated from Spanish to English. So this is a really cool thing. It can change from Spanish or any other language to English, and it can change from English to any other language whatsoever as well. And we have this whole list of languages that we can pick from, lots and lots of different languages. So this could be a whole lot of fun to use to speak to people who don't necessarily understand the same language that you do. And you could use Scratch in order to get it to say the words for you. You can also get it to say the words on the screen using the Looks menu. So we can go to Looks and we can go to Translate. And I can say, hello, how are you? And let's say I want to see what that says in looks like in German. I'm going to find German and click on the block, and this is what it says in German. Let me put that up there for a little bit longer. There we go. Hi, how are you today? Click the block, and now we can see how to say hi, hello, how are you in German. And again, you can translate any language you would want, and we could go the other direction. Um, let's say we translate this. To German, Spanish to German. I'm going to click the block and it still translates to German, so from Spanish to German. So it doesn't even have to be English, but we could go to English, Spanish to English, and you can see how the computer is able to translate from all these different languages, both saying it out loud and doing it in text. So I think this would be really fun to figure out how to write maybe a letter to somebody or how to record a recording to leave a message for somebody in a different language. I think this is a lot of fun that you could play with in today's snow day. So I'm encouraging you to go ahead and record some stuff, try to um, play with some stuff and see what you can come up with and share it with me when you come back from your snow day. That would be fantastic. I hope you had fun working today, and I look forward to see what you guys come up with with the rest of the time. Bye.